Okay, thanks for jumping in. Let's get started. So there are six heading elements and H1 to H6 basically represents the six levels of the heading sections. H1 being the highest and then all the way down to six being ranked the lowest. I'm gonna use some Emmet to just kind of generate some code um, to show you some heading ranking levels, okay? I'm gonna use Emmet to generate some HTML output. Don't pay attention to the Emmet if you're not familiar with that, just pay attention to the output. So I'm gonna create a div and I'm gonna add a role. And this is just an attribute, okay guys? I'm gonna add that attribute and then I'm gonna add another attribute and this is the aria level, an incrementing value from one to six. And then I'm just gonna provide some text between this div tag, okay? So I'm just gonna say this is a heading for this section. And I'm basically gonna generate six of these, okay? So I'm just gonna asterisk and the number six. So once again, don't pay attention to the Emmet. It's just gonna generate some HTML for us, okay? So I've seen developers do stuff like this in the past and it's actually valid. Um, it'll work if you run it through a validator. You won't get any issues, but it's not semantic. So what this has done, let's take a look at in our browser. I'll refresh this. It's generated, you know, these six uh, sections. And I'm just gonna inspect this really quickly. Here we are in our inspector and you'll notice that we've generated six div tags and they each have a different level heading. So this will take the most precedence as being the most primary uh, heading and then ranking down to six. This does work for generating, you know, headings and, um, you know, just let's just prove to you guys that this is actually valid. And we'll go to our markup validation and we'll paste this in. And then we'll just run a quick check. And as you can see, this is valid HTML. There's actually nothing wrong with this, except for the fact that it's not semantic. And what I mean by that is since we're using HTML5, we should try to adhere to those standards and semantic HTML and use the H1 headings. I'm gonna also use Emmet to generate this as well, okay? So this is basically, I'm gonna generate H1 to six, and I'm gonna give it some content on the inside, and this will be heading, and I'll just say the level, and I'm gonna generate the numerical value for the level, and then I'm just gonna close this, and I'm gonna multiply it six times. So here we go. And we'll just check this out in the browser. And this is more semantic, this is the H1, which is the most dominant, and then it goes all the way down to each level to H6. Now, if we do take a look in our inspector and we check this out, we can clearly see what's going on here, right? H1 to six, which each one of the levels being uh, numerically indicated by their name inside their tag. So there is a uh, talk around this. You can use more than one H1 tag, like the high level tag in an HTML doc document. But, you know, it's really not considered best practice because if you're trying to, um, you know, deal with things like SEO and accessibility, um, this may play some havoc on, you know, the screen readers and stuff like that because it won't understand that there's, uh, this is the most high level topic or title and then it'll jump down to another one and find an H1 down here and it'll be kind of confused. So if you care about SEO and accessibility, I'd recommend just keeping one high level um, H1 tag per page or per view, and then you can repeat the other ones as needed. So you could have a high level tag, then you can have like, you know, two more H2s in here or something like that. And it's best to keep them in order. So what I mean by that is it's kind of frowned upon to go like from an H1, H2 to an H4. Right, so if the accessibility um, things were checking this and the screen readers, it'd be confused because it's like going one, two, and it's gonna be thinking, you know what, did I miss something here? And then it's gonna go jumping to four. So um, keep that in mind, right? Even though it says it's level three on that one because of our text, it's actually a level four heading. And the other thing you should avoid is trying to use the size of the headings to resize your titles or your headings. Um, so if you wanted something, you know, very large like this and you wanted to surround that by H1 just to get the size, um, 
that's not advisable. You should probably use CSS or something like that to control the size. And you know, you can change the font and the style of the heading. Once again, just avoid skipping levels. You know, don't use the element to resize the text that you're trying to put in between that text. You can use these to construct things like a table of contents for a document or something like that. You can nest them basically if you needed to. The other thing to note about headings is that they have attributes. At one point, the attribute align used to be one of the ones for you know aligning the heading. But, but as you can see with this strike through the word align, this no longer is valid in HTML5, it's deprecated. So we don't use the align for that on any of the H tags. We would use CSS or something else to style those tags or move them or align them accordingly. But you still have access to all of the uh, global attributes. So like, you know, something like autofocus, auto capitalize, we could do uh, class, obviously, you know, if you want to style this stuff. And there's a bunch of like global attributes that you can add to any one of these levels, you know, whether it be giving it an ID or having it hidden by just typing in that global attribute. We'll take a look over here and you can see it's missing. But yeah, you can do that. And you know, all of the global attributes, once again, are available to all of these headings. And that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like the video if you found this useful. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Take care, and I will see you next time.